this is the dashboard okay to come to that to the dashboard at any time just click on this dashboard okay it will lead you to this dashboard okay okay so anytime you want to add a post you click on this post okay let me just click on this so that we'll view all the posts then we'll now add new okay since i'm having a challenge with a network okay this is these are all the posts we have so you are expected to delete trash each of these posts okay and start writing your own okay to write your own you just click on add new Okay, it will load. This is where you write the title of the post. Okay, let me call it um, post part of four. Okay, the title of the post goes here. Whereby the content goes here, where you format it using this stuff here. Okay, then one thing about this is that you are not advised to use your phone to start blogging on this website because um, it might be a little bit difficult for you. So you are better to use your desktop computer where you carefully go through all these things, okay? Here, my interest is at most is this category, okay? When you click on it, to show you the categories we have so far, okay? I don't know why it's not loading, okay, but it will soon load. Maybe it's a network issue, okay? So don't forget to put your featured image. Let me show you the work of this feature image. I open a new tab. Okay, this image you are seeing here. Okay, it's known as the featured image. Okay, this image is known as the featured image. This is the feature image for this. This is the post title. This is the feature image. Okay, post title featured image okay it goes like that let me just cancel this i want to add a new post okay okay let me click again on add new post Okay, for new post, you write the post title here. Okay, your content goes here. Okay, this content can contain image and so many other stuff. Okay, after that, now you come here to the post tab. We have the block, we have the post. Can okay, click on the post. Okay, cannot choose a category from here. Okay, no, okay, you see the categories we have so far. You can add more category, okay? It simply means that a post can belong to many categories. So you carefully select the categories which this um, post belongs to. If it is not here, you can still add more. Once you add and add a post to it, okay, you are going to see this category showing up here, yeah, right? Okay. This is the featured image which we have um, discussed later. I think that's all we have for posts. Okay, at your own time, take our time to carefully go through this and study it properly. So let me delete these two draft posts. I can mark them here. Okay, no, I don't want to mark all. I just mark these two that I just created now. Come to action, click on move to trust and apply. Okay, I automatically delete these two. At the same time, okay, you see what we have here. Okay, I have shown you how to add a post by going to the post, okay, add new. You can add categories here, tags here, or you can add them when you are writing a new post. Okay, for your products, please pay very attention to this. To add a digital product, you go to work commerce. This is work commerce. This is product. When you hover over product, you will see. All product and add new product okay let me go to all product let me open it in a new tab and open new product in a new tab okay so that I'll use this at the same time to show you how you add a new product and the product we have 
so far. Okay, this tab is for add a new product. Okay, I click on it. It has not finished loading. Go back here. Okay, they are still loading. Okay, this is um, a page for all products. Okay, most of the times you'll be seeing a kind of this. About, I don't know whether to call them adverts or what. Just ignore these stuff. Close them out. Okay, ignore them. Your main concern should be on this on this area. Okay. So here you can see that I already have about three products. Okay. Okay, the page is still loading. Maybe it's loading because of those things that I just closed. Okay, it has finished loading. Okay. As you can see here. We just have about three digital product that we created. Okay, you can edit any of them and you can trash any of them. Okay, let me just edit this one so that I will use it to show you stuff. I click on edit. Okay, this one for add new product is still loading. Okay. Okay, for edit product, okay, you see what we have. Here is where you write the name of the product. Okay, sometimes I prefer putting the file format in bracket so that the person will know whether this is a PDF file or .mp3 file or .amr file, okay. Then after writing the product name, the next thing to do is to write the description of the product. This is where you carefully describe what this digital product is all about and what the person will benefit okay back to our website which is this let me click on um, ebook okay let me show you where you can see this in the front end okay assuming i pick this this is the title of the product okay this title you are seeing here is exactly what you could in here okay what about this description you are seeing here? Okay, it's exactly what is what you are seeing here. Okay, so that's why you have to carefully do this. Okay, then um, going back to edit. Okay, this is another short description. Okay, this short description here. That is this. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just um, make use of um, this. The one I want to edit is um, reach that port that AMR. Okay, let me go back to podcast since it is AMR. Okay, this is that is this work. I click on it. Okay, so that we will see where each one reflected on. Okay, you see this one that stop with CIA. Okay, this is the short description. Okay, that is the short description as you can see. Short description is the one that come up here. Okay, then the full description is this one. Is this guy? Okay, this one that starts with Lorem Ipsum Dolo. You can see it here as well as the description. Okay, the description is this one that comes under here. Okay, now we have a kind of tab here reviews okay if there are reviews you will see it here but here it says there is no reviews yet okay this is the description okay back to this guy again this is where you select the category where you want it to belong if this belongs to a podcast you mark a podcast it if it is belongs to a, an ebook you mark an ebook okay Sometimes your digital product might include a music and an ebook. You can as well click two of them. Okay, assuming this digital product involves more than one file, one is podcast and the second one is ebook, you can tick two of them so that when, whenever somebody goes to the podcast, this product will show. When it goes to the ebook, this product will show as well. Okay. So here now is where I want you to pay very much attention. Anytime you are creating a product, make sure you mark visual and downloadable. Once you mark downloadable, it shows the system that this product is a digital product, nothing like shipping. 
that the owner or the person that paid for it need to download it directly okay from this platform so once you click on downloadable okay this shows for you for you to select the file okay i'm going to demonstrate using um this add new product i have here i'm just going to show you the ones i have okay this is where you add galleries you can add as many pictures as you want here in this product gallery this product gallery are the ones that shows here okay so that whenever the person hover you can easily if i hover over this it zooms this for me if i click on this i can hover over it if it is big it will stay zoom for me okay this is the place you do those stuff here by putting products some gallery here so that the person can be able to go through and have the image of what you're uploading if there is need for that okay this is the one known as product image this product image is the one that comes first assuming i go to the maybe home page i open it in a new tab okay this these things you are seeing here this is the product image product image product it is true whenever i hover it changes but the, these images we are seeing here are the product image okay so back to this place once you mark downloadable this guy shows if i remove this you see it changes i mark it again it shows okay here it talks about the regular price regular pr price simply means what it should be the actual the actual amount of money the price of this product should be but here is what you want to sell it okay i can decide to write a kind of 23 dollar whereby it will now cancel 101 and make use of 23 dollar if i do this empty simply means this is zero dollar or i am saying or i am selling it for free okay like you can see here okay we have 101 dollar okay okay sorry lizzie just that's the regular price let me just um okay let me write 23 okay let me update something let me see okay i updated it let me refresh this and check what will be the price okay you see it now the actual price is 23 dollar whereby this 101 is the what it should be so here okay sometimes i prefer not putting anything here to avoid confusion and using only the sell price remember system make use of this sell price not this regular price okay the file is downloadable so i have to queen here so once i finish this the next thing i have to do which is very 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 important is to go to inventory okay and mark this sold individually okay what this simply means is that it will not be counting or telling the user to add to cart one two three products you understand what i'm trying to say if i didn't do that coming to this place i'll be seeing a kind of cut plus and minus we are be increasing the number of products or decreasing it but here we don't do something like that it's just a digital product so you make sure you do that okay now just go to inventory okay mark this now back to the general okay this is the download limit if i say 15 it simply means that once the user paid for this product he has only 15 times to download this product after downloading 15 times you no longer have access to this file to download them okay but if i clean everything it becomes unlimited okay what about the expiring date i can decide to write my expiring dates here or leave it never so that this file will never expire so some document that you know that can expire very soon or become outdated you can put the expiring date here look at the format to use it says enter the number of days before a download link expires if i say 123 it simply means 123 days starting from the day i set up this this is the time this product will expire okay i think um that's all we have whenever you are creating a product pretty simple right once you are through with this always click on update okay
so let me close let me just copy some stuff here okay, so that it will help me fasten up what i want to do okay i copy this okay let me close this now okay i want to create a new product let me call this product testing product okay this is the description i paste this okay this is the short description where it says short okay and with short then i paste this at least shorten it a bit okay so look at what i have here as my short description okay starting with short and ends with short okay so what about here okay just leave it as simple product mark visual okay mark downloadable you see once i mark downloadable this shows okay if i remove this it goes i only have the price so downloadable shows me options where i upload the file that the user will download once he makes the payment number of times to download and expiring date which i have explained earlier so i will say that this file is a file worth 34 dollar okay now i will be adding the file i want the person to download once he has made the payment here i said please enter a value less than the regular price okay this value must be less than the regular price okay so it simply means we should have a regular price assuming you have a regular price of 34 dollar simply means system will be making use of 34 dollar if there is no price here then when i say 12 simply means this should be 12 34 dollar or you are now selling it at 12 dollar okay so it simply means that this regular price must be greater than the sale price if i want everything to be free i can just put zero here okay and put zero here automatically this is free okay let me just um continue with this ten dollar whatever the regular price is twenty dollar okay i'll start attaching the files that i want the person to download once he made a payment okay i can decide to let me just you see i can write the name of the file the url if the file doesn't have url i can choose what i want to upload here okay let me call this file a kind of product 34 okay this thing is what the person will see as the file name when he wants to download this file okay now choose the file i want to use okay let me just choose from the ones i have here okay let me just choose an image okay remember this is just for a kind of um, um learning purpose if i want to upload the ray file i have to click on upload files okay look for this select files now find where the file is located select it and upload it after uploading it i will now select it just like this and insert it into the digital product you see i have added one i can add one more okay let me call it product to okay i find a file i add this okay you see i have two products one might be music and the other one might, okay let me say that this one is mp3 okay and this one is uh, maybe pdf okay since i have two files here that i'm selling together you can see that both of these files belongs to podcast and ebook if i have only mp3 the one that belongs to podcast i can only mark on podcast the same thing goes for ebook okay so i have said these basic things i go to inventory click on enable this only allow me for this item to be bought in a single order okay let me check this okay i don't think we need this for this kind of um, system we are building now since we are building a digital product okay i have this okay i think the next thing to do now is to set up the product image and now the gallery images okay you see this one goes with images just like the name suggests gallery images this is the product image okay let me select this let me say 
this um, represent our product image okay i set it it will load okay that's the product image okay let me now upload gallery images in this gallery images i can mark you see the more i click the more it will continue to mark just hold your control key and continue clicking on each of them to mark you see i have marked about one two three four five images i add it to the gallery okay five of them will load here okay this is the product image and this is the product uh, gallery okay i have equally set the price let me say the price is um nine dollar okay okay let me say fifteen dollar okay then once i'm through with this i will now publish okay i think i have add a new product coming back to my home page if i refresh you see that another product will be added here okay that is um, about 13 dollar price okay actually this product did not show because product that shows here are featured product as you can see here okay but whenever i click on um, a kind of podcast i will see that product here if i click on ebook i will still see that product but when i go to the home page i will not see the product okay you can see the product here in podcast okay if i click on ebook i will still see the product Okay, you see the product as well in ebook okay but you can't see it at the home page because i did not um feature it so for me to feature it i go back to my admin panel okay go to all products okay once this all product loads okay it has loads okay you can see that this one the the stars are a kind of dark or thick or bold okay this is a sign of fixtured okay now you can see that the one i just created is not fixtured so if i want it to show on the home page i have to click on this to make it fixtured okay so most of the time so we fixtured on the product that we know that we want every user to see it so other product that are not in a high demand might not be may not be fixtured okay so i fixtured them um, this product now once i featured it if i come back to the home page okay they that product will show because i have featured it and the home page is showing only the featured image okay you see that the product is now showing here okay let's click let's click on this product you see the name of the product we created that time you see the price okay you see the regular price this is the sell price this is the short description okay this is um the gallery that i just uploaded which is one two three four five and the product image okay i can click on here and hover over here to see it properly especially if the image is very very big okay you see making it very big i just click on this okay you see this see it zoomed okay i can move over it because this image is large okay or i can just click on this so that all images will show here and i will be using this arrow to go through the image okay after watching the digital product image out the user now determines whether to buy or not you still close it from here okay this is for the product okay this is the description this is the other letter the um, product okay here now we are going to click purchase it will take you to where to make payment and once you register and make payment automatically whatever thing you purchase here will be in your download okay it will be in your download which is something like this Come into your account and download. This is where you see 
those things that you have um, paid for okay here and now you are expected to fill your details okay after filling your details you now select a payment method that suits you paper or debit card this debit card is the pay stack okay you now make your payment okay here it talks about coupon code coupon code is a kind of code that will put on this product to reduce the price so you can still create coupon code when you are doing a kind of bonanza discount and all that you can even create a coupon code that will turn this product to free okay i am going to show you how to create a coupon code so to create a coupon code go to the admin panel okay then come to WooCommerce. you see this WooCommerce. hover over it you now see coupons okay when you click on coupons we now start creating a coupon code there are a lot of ways you can create a coupon code and coupon code performs so many action okay this is the one i created earlier let me just create a new one okay always close all this sheet okay doesn't really 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 matter okay i click on add coupon okay you see what i have here this is the name of the coupon okay i can say hmm, any name of your choice but you use a name that makes sense okay i can say i'm um, 20 percent off for all products okay assuming i want to create a coupon code that will be removing 20 percent from all my products i can give it this kind of name then I click this to generate a coupon code, okay, or I write the coupon code myself, okay. This is where you write the coupon code, sorry, or you click here, system generate it. But I can call this 20 off, okay. Then this is optional where you describe the function of this coupon code, okay. This is where the main business lies, okay. You can say whether this will remove a fixed amount once you select fixed cut discount okay you write the, the amount as you mean you write 10 here and select this option it simply means that this coupon code will remove ten dollar from the product that i'm going to put it if the coupon code has expiring dates you write the expiring date here if you want it to last like maybe two days you just select two from the day you are doing this okay it simply means that this coupon code after this date it will expire it will no longer work okay here as well you can select percentage discount whenever i select percentage if i write five or if i write maybe five it simply means that this coupon code is removing five percent from my products okay this is when you choose percent we have talked about the one of fees okay we have talked about the one of um, fees products okay for the one of fees product goes to a particular product okay when i click on it I, I i i do five okay it goes for a particular product for the one of fees cut goes for everything i have in the cart okay what about user restriction clicking on it shows you the minimum and the maximum okay this minimum and maximum depends on the number of times this coupon code can be used on the system okay if i say um a kind of um okay that's the user limit sorry that's the user limit let me go to that user limit okay user limit per coupon i can set it here user limit per user i can see set it here okay back to restriction okay here it says check this box if the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupon you understand what this means now if this coupon you want it to be on its own it, it cannot be sharing a kind of resources with other coupons that you are going to create you can tick this here it says check this box if the coupon should not apply to items on sale pay okay, items coupon this doesn't concern you because actually you are doing a digital product okay here is where you search the product 
that you want this coupon to be working on okay here we here is where you search the products that you want to exclude from this coupon coupon here talks about categories okay you can add you can exclude and all that but when you leave it like this blank which i always recommend simply means that this coupon applies to any or every product you have in this system okay let me say this is 20 off and the function of this coupon code is to remove um, fixed products okay let me say cut discount okay cut discount of um, five dollar okay remember the coupon code is 20 off i publish it okay once i finish publishing it let me go back to my um where i want to make payment okay we i want to make payment of that product that i, that I just um, created which is known as um, testing product okay here i can add the coupon code here okay remember the coupon code is 20 off okay if i apply this coupon code see that the price will be reduced this price will be you see reduced by five dollar okay using this coupon code remember the main total is 15 but because i apply this coupon code i have this i can remove it and this turns to 15 dollar again okay what about if you just put a wrong coupon code what do you think will happen assuming i type jargon and apply if it is wrong the system will tell me that this is in wrong coupon code okay you see it here says this coupon does not exist okay that's all we have for this work thank you so much bye bye